The fate of Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, if Prince Edward passes away. Welcome. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before watching the video so you don't miss any of our latest content. Thank you for your support. In the complex and intriguing world of British titling, the fate of Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, has become a matter of interest for many royal watchers. This curiosity stems from the fact that the Dukedom of Edinburgh, which her husband, Prince Edward, currently holds, has been granted to him only for life. This means that if Prince Edward passes away before Sophie, there may be significant implications for her title. The history of the Dukedom of Edinburgh is fascinating, as it was only recently passed down to Prince Edward. King Charles III granted the Dukedom to Edward, fulfilling the request of his parents, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. However, the title had undergone some changes, making it impossible for Edward's son, James, to become the Duke of Edinburgh. Instead, he can only use the title Earl of Wessex throughout his life. So, what happens to the title of Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, if Prince Edward passes away before her? In the case of Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, if Prince William were to pass away before her, all of her titles would remain with her. However, with Sophie's situation, it is more complicated. As the wife of the Duke of Edinburgh, Sophie holds a lifetime estate in the style, rank, and title of her husband. This means that she is entitled to be called Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Edinburgh and has the same rank in the Order of Seniority of the United Kingdom as her husband. According to the norm for hereditary titles, if there is no heir with a wife to become the next Duchess of Edinburgh, the widow continues to be called the Duchess of Edinburgh. If there is an heir with a wife, the widow is called the Dowager Duchess of Edinburgh without the name, or the title necessarily introduces the name Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, to differentiate between the new Duchess and the widow. However, since the dukedom will return to the crown after Edward's death, the situation may be different. It is reasonable to assume that the dukedom will not be immediately transferred to another member of the family, meaning that no new Duchess of Edinburgh will appear. This makes it likely that Sophie will be able to retain her title for life. It would be odd to carry the title of widow and not be related to the new mistress of the title. No new title would be invented for Sophie since she has no title of her own, only her husband's. The reasons behind King Charles III granting Prince Edward a dukedom for life have not been specified by Buckingham Palace. However, some reasonable assumptions can be made. One is that the new sovereign seeks to make the granting of peerage titles conform to 21st century thinking in the United Kingdom, where the succession of titles is no longer considered fair, democratic, significant, or necessary. Another possibility is that the king has other plans for the title in the future, such as giving the Duchy of Edinburgh to Princess Charlotte or Prince Louis. The emergence of lifetime titles may be a new practice that denies hereditary titles among members of the royal family, and this is not new. For instance, Princess Anne and her first husband, Mark Phillips, rejected the title of peerage for Mark, as they did not want their children to inherit titles. Similarly, the Earl and Countess of Wessex decided not to title their children and not to call them royal highnesses or prince and princess, which is available to them by birthright. The dukedom for life granted to Prince Edward may also set a precedent to prohibit Prince Harry from passing on his ducal title to his son, Archie, who currently lives in the United States. In conclusion, if Prince Edward were to pass away before Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, it is likely that she will retain her title for the rest of her life, as there may not be a new Duchess of Edinburgh to succeed her. This is because Prince Edward's dukedom is a lifetime title, and it may not be immediately transferred to another member of the family after his death. The decision to grant Prince Edward a dukedom for life rather than a hereditary title has not been officially explained by Buckingham Palace, but it is speculated that it may be part of a move towards modernizing the succession of peerage titles in the royal family. This practice of lifetime titles has been seen before, such as in the cases of Princess Anne and her first husband, Mark Phillips, who rejected a peerage title for their children, and Prince Edward and his wife, Sophie, who decided not to title their own children. Overall, while titling in the British monarchy may be complex, it is interesting to see how it evolves and adapts over time. 
It remains to be seen what the future holds for the title of Duke of Edinburgh and who may inherit it after Prince Edward's lifetime tenure ends. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video.